do you read tarot or get tarot readings and you want to know a little bit about reversals? That's coming up in just a moment. Hey everyone, I'm Mel and I'm the owner here. Today is Witchy Wednesday and on Witchy Wednesdays we talk about all kinds of things under the witchcraft umbrella from divination to spell work and more. Today we're talking about tarot reversals, tarot cards reversals. The topic of reversals today was requested as a video by one of our YouTube members. Memberships have specific perks including video topic requests. If you're interested in that, check that out on the channel. There is an entire video I will link above and below that talks all about the memberships. We're not going to waste any more time about that now. Tarot reversals. I am a tarot reader. That is what the majority of my day in and day out life is. I'm doing tarot readings all day long, pretty much every day. And I have been doing this professionally full time for almost six years now and professionally overall because I did it part-time for almost a decade and a half at this point. I have a lot of experience. I've used a lot of resources. I've spent a lot of time learning and growing and talking to others in the tarot community. I've had taken courses. I've taught courses and I've had many mentors that have helped me along my journey. The reason why this is relevant is it is going to give a broader point of view for you to understand where I'm getting the information from that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Reading around tarot reversals is a personal decision that every tarot reader decides whether they want to or whether they don't. Neither is right, neither is wrong. It is a truly individualized choice and preference about what that specific reader wants to do. I read around reversals and the reason why I read around reversals is when I first learned tarot I learned it without reversals and then I added in the reversals after that when I expanded my knowledge and I was ready to go the next step when I included the reversals in my readings personally I felt like it added an additional layer to my readings to the depth of my readings it added a deeper insight, deeper information, more knowledge, and more access to other themes that necessarily don't show up in the upright positionings of the cards. That has been my personal experience and I have found when I use the reversals in my readings, my readings tend to be a lot more concise and accurate. Not that without the reversals they're inaccurate, but I can really pinpoint things to a deeper level than I can without. For instance, if I did a reading for you, you're a client, you want to know what's going on with so-and-so's feelings about you. I don't use reversals. I read around it. It's generally pretty spot on. I use reversals. I read around it. I actually often will channel details that there's no way I could have picked that up down to verbatim words that have been said, down to things that people have done, etc. So there is a different layer for my personal experience as far as that is concerned. When there's readers who don't read with the reversals, I have several friends that don't and one of my mentors does not. Their readings, I want to be clear, aren't necessarily wrong. So I don't want you to think that this person doesn't know how to read. It doesn't mean that the individual doesn't know tarot. It doesn't mean that their readings are inaccurate. What it means is that's their personal choice. The mentor that taught me the most about tarot was a reader who had been reading for, she's 20 years older than me. She'd been reading for decades before I started reading and her philosophy was taught to her by her mentor who taught her how to read tarot and her philosophy is and her mentor's philosophy was that the tarot deck has 78 cards in those 78 cards they are created with all the intention of the themes across the human experience 
that is what the intention is of the wide variety. And then the rest is left up to intuition and positioning of the card spreads that you use and the questions that you ask. That is what she was taught. She was taught it's not necessary. Reversals are just an extra thing. I was taught by two different tarot people. That was one. Reversals are not necessary. The other not only does reversals, but pulls double cards for certain positions. And the interesting thing about that is the more I got to know that, that mentor, the more I learned that they're faking it. <laughs> Actually, they're, they were faking a lot, faking it till they made it. And they would pull more and more cards because they wanted more and more information because they, their intuition, they didn't have intuition. They, they weren't listening to their intuition at all. They were going through general standard definitions only. And that is why that, that mentor wanted to use the reversals because they felt like they needed that extra information because their intuition wasn't working. Again, that doesn't mean somebody who uses reversals doesn't know what they're doing. It's a very controversial topic. It depends on whoever you talk to. Everybody has a different opinion about it. You could buy seven tarot books and each one of them says a different thing about reversals. Some will say reversals are good. Some will say reversals are unnecessary. Some will tell you that reversals are only the opposite of the definition of that traditional card. Some will tell you reversals are bad, meaning they're a negative thing in a reading. The way that I see them, and I am going to be releasing and working on, and I have a lot going on in my life right now. For those of you that don't know, my mother is very ill. I'll post a whole video about that. We've been talking about that. So I don't have time to do this yet, but I am planning on releasing an introduction to reading tarot cards course at some point, and we will get deeper into it there. So this is kind of like a preview of some of the information that I would share with you all. The way that I read reversals, it's not necessarily a negative or a positive. It doesn't mean they're all negative. Certain cards in reversals to me are more positive when they are in the reversal. Typically, for instance, the card that comes to mind for this example for me is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, when it is in the upright, a basic, basic definition, we're not talking about big intuitive stuff right now. The basic definition of Seven of Swords is dishonesty, betrayal, sneaky, lying, cheating, things of that nature. When it's in the upside down, when it's in the reversal for me, it's usually some version of fixing that or things are coming to light or things are getting better around something that was misunderstood. Sometimes it's even misunderstandings. Things aren't what they seem. So that's just an example that comes to mind immediately is the seven of swords for me is a better card when it's in the reversal than it is in the upright. Of course, it depends on where it lands in the spread. What are the other cards? What are we asking about? What do we need to know? What's channeled coming in from spirit? All of those are, are things that need to be included in a reading. It's not just a, a I'm just giving you a standard example. I, if you want a robotic definition, feel free to go to AI readers. There's a lot of them out there, and there's a lot of readers on TikTok who just read the words for you. So feel free to do that if that's what you're looking for. As far as the way that I use them, just like how I read tarot for anything, I listen to what spirit's showing me. I look at the big picture. I read tarot like a story. So it's not just one. I actually have a deck right here. It's not just one individual card, and it means this one definition thing, and that's it. I look at the whole picture and read it together in a storyline with other cards that have come out with it, whatever that positioning is, whatever the question is. And then I look at the big picture and I feel into it. With that said, that's how I know what feeling I get around a reversal. So again, sometimes reversals are opposites of the upright. Sometimes reversals are blocked energy. This isn't happening right now. Maybe it could be a communicator card and it's blocked. Well, you're not getting that communication right now. There's not going to be progress around that. It could be that. It could be a form of something needs to change here. It's guidance. So reversals, I do want all of you to think about it this way. At least the way that I read, I cannot speak about other readers. I don't know. I don't read with a lot of other readers, so I can't speak in terms of that anyways. 
But the way that I read, if you get a reversal while I'm pulling cards for you, do not automatically panic. That's the worst thing you can do. If you immediately start to think negatively, it's going to influence the energy that I'm connecting into you with. And then more negativity is going to come out because now your fear is coming through in the cards. Now your fear is influencing the session instead of tr waiting and hearing what has to be said. Tarot is a story to me, which means it's not as flat and simple as black and white. There are so many layers of gray in the human experience. It's not as simple as yes and no. Very often, the answer could be yes, but. Yes, but, da 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 Yes, if, da 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 No, but you can change that if, da 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 So, to me, it's not a black and white answer. Same thing with reversals. It's not a textbook. You have to do it this way. There's many books out there about reversals. I actually did a review for one in my book review that I like. But I've never sat down and felt the need to memorize every single uh, correspondence for every card in the reversal with a book like that. That kind of stuff would overwhelm me, and it's not necessary. I listen to my feelings. <laughs> I listen to the guides, and then I go with that, and I've learned that that is the best way. If I stressed out about memorizing every single author's perspective on a reversal for each card, all I would be doing is memorization all the time. And that is not what a true intuitive reading is anyway, not regurgitating a definition. I hope this helped you guys. If you are confused about anything that I said, feel free to write in the comments. I read all the comments. I try to respond to all the comments. It might take me months to get back to them, but I do try to respond to all of them. Check out our memberships because it is elevated bonus and perks and things of that nature. I do go live usually three times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday mornings. Tuesday, I may start to drop because it's not as uh, busy on Tuesdays. It's quite quiet on Tuesdays, so that might change. But currently, as I'm filming, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 a.m. EST time, I do tarot readings live for people. I also have a website, melsdivination.com. I offer emailed readings in my store section, and I offer appointment personal interactive readings in my appointment section. Feel free to check all that out. Check into the YouTube channel. I have offers for new clients and referrals and discounts and things like that. You just got to look for the actual video that's posted. And I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. I do appreciate you guys letting me have to have the flexibility. If you've been with me for a while, life has been a little bit crazy, but we're trying to get back into our regular routine here. I just heard a question that somebody might ask. This is not about Oracle cards. We're not talking about Oracle cards. This is my rule for tarot and tarot only. We're not talking about Lenormand. We're not talking about Oracle or Kipper or any of the other card divinations when it comes to reversals. This is just tarot, the system of tarot and the reversals and readings. I love talking about tarot and things of that nature because it's something that I'm so passionate about and I love sharing my knowledge with all of you. Feel free to ask any questions that you may have, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.